started checking out Jeep Solid, be sure to subscribe at the end of the video. Today we're going to be changing the manual transmission fluid. I like to drain the transmission fluid when it's a little bit warm. That way it clears out any debris and buildup a little bit better. So take the vehicle for a short drive before you drain the fluid. Now on this Jeep Wrangler YJ, on the driver's side, the transmission fill plug is right over here. On this AX15 transmission, you want to change the transmission fluid about every 30,000 miles or two years, whichever comes first. I always like to remove the fill plug first so I know I won't have any problem getting fluid back in. I don't want to drain it, then find out I have a problem, then I have a Jeep I can't drive. So let's remove the fill plug. This is a 15 16 socket. We've got our drain pan under here. Might get a little bit of fluid coming out here. And as you can see, the skid plate is in the way a little bit. You don't want to bother trying to remove the skid plate. That's a big problem. Just let it drain out on its own. You'll get a little bit on the skid plate, but you can just clean it up later. Now that we got the fill plug out, and there seems to be no issue, we can go ahead and remove the drain plug. Now we're on the passenger side of the vehicle. The drain plug is right here. Got my drain pan in the way. We're going to go ahead and remove the drain plug. I'll go ahead and let that all drain. On the back side of the drain plug, there's actually a magnet. You want to kind of feel that, make sure there's no metal fragments in there, and clean it off real good. Now we're going to replace the drain plug, and we're going to torque it to 25 foot pounds. Now we're simply going to use a pump to pump new gear lubricant into the manual transmission. I'm going to be using this uh, MT90 from Redline. This is a GL4. If you have questions on the type of fluid to use in your AX15 transmission, follow this link right here. I have a great video where I talk about the different types of gear lubricants. All right, now we're going to just we're just going to pump it in there. It's going to take about three and a half quarts. Okay, now we're going to pump fluid until we start, until we see it leak out there. And that's how we know we're full. And I think we're just about there. A little bit of fluid coming out. I want to make sure that we got, got it full. Yeah, we're leaking out pretty good there. So we're going to just put our fill plug back in. Now we're going to torque the fill plug here to 25 foot-pounds. So now we're going to take it on a test drive and watch for any leaks. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.